the neutron imaging exploits differential penetration of neutrons through objects. The transmitted radiation was recorded and measured. Different elements and materials differ in their neutron cross-section, allowing varying amounts of neutrons to be transmitted. The Beer-Lambert law relates the attenuation of a neutron beam traveling through a material with an exponential law, which depends on the density of the material and the attenuation coefficient. The abilities of each element to attenuate neutrons are shown here. Neutrons can be best attenuated by light elements such as hydrogen and boron and also by some heavy elements such as gadolinium and cadmium. On the other hand, X-ray and gamma ray can be best attenuated by heavy elements. Consequently, neutron imaging can give better details of an object whose internal structure consists of light elements. We can use neutron imaging to investigate the internal structure of many objects for various purposes. For example, it can be used to investigate cracks and distribution of internal materials. In addition, objects encased in metals can be internally examined without being disassembled. From the above images, neutron imaging yields better contrast than X-ray imaging for plastic, polymeric, and rubber materials. A great example from Paul Scherer Institute shows, the study of the inner content of Buddha sculptures. X-ray does not show content but neutrons can provide information about the embedded organic material. Neutron imaging is a nuclear technique for non-destructive examination of the internal structure of an object. Thailand Institute of Nuclear Technology, Public Organization, or TINT has established its neutron imaging facility at a thermal neutron port of research reactor TRR1M1. This is the only provider of neutron imaging technology in Thailand. The pictures show the outside and inside of neutron imaging room. When the neutron from the fission reaction passes through the tube, we open the neutron shutter to expose the sample. We have a CCD camera with 4 megapixel and 7.4 micron of pixel size. The active area is 20 multiply 20 square centimeter. We can generate the picture in two-dimensional, three-dimensional and video for visualization and the minimum angle for 3D reconstruction is 
Benjurong Bowl. Crepe Ginger. Gerbera Garuda statue The rubber sheet for radiation protection material Pottery Bead necklace Ancient doll Vase Tea port Metal Buddha image from auto radiography. Buddha statue by X ray and neutron radiography. The neutron tomography method applies the neutron to derive plane or volume trick maps of the neutron attenuation coefficient values of an object. It uses radiographic projection images from many views to reconstruct the distribution of materials in the sample. The Metal Buddha statue from South Korea by neutron tomography technique at Thai Research Reactor.
the ancient doll from by neutron tomography technique at Thai research reactor. Metal statue by neutron tomography technique at Thai research reactor. Spark plug by neutron tomography technique at Thai research reactor. Rubber bear with screws and cadmium sheet inside by neutron tomography technique at Thai research reactor. Orchid by Neutron Tomography
fluid by neutron tomography. Scintillation detector by neutron tomography. from Paul Scherer Institute show, the boiling coffee making process with a mocha pot by dynamic neutron radiography technique. When the water in the bottom chamber boils, heated air expand and build up pressure force water through the funnel and into the coffee in the middle. Then, 
the coffee is fully saturated with boiled water, the water continues to boil up through the filter and into the top funnel. Finally, when the last of water boil through into the top chamber, a characteristic sound can be heard. It's ready to serve. Additive manufacturing, is the construction of a three-dimensional object from three-dimensional model. We create from reconstructed files and generate to 3D model.